Hello and welcome. My name is Rava P08, and I'm probably guessing why you guys clicked on this video, and that is that you want to get better with sniping, and also learn how I myself do the full auto sniper stuff, which indeed is not the visual glitch, and which can actually kill people with it. You probably found this video by me telling you in game, or you just saw someone else doing it and you're curious on how to do it, or you just found it up by random. Anyways, let's get started. So there are two different ways to snipe. The first one is by using a bolt action. Bolt actions usually do more damage, but they also lack in reloading speed. The second way is by using a semi-auto. They are generally more fast, but they have less damage. This also works for the World War II bolt actions and semi-autos as well. And once you have chosen your method, you're going to have to choose what gun that you're going to have to use. Hunting rifle, cheaper than the op, but lacks damage. 50 cal, fully kill a person, but only has one round. The op does more damage, but is a bit more expensive than the hunting rifle and costs less than the 50 cal. Now, semi-autos. The scar, it costs more, but has little to no recoil. The SKS costs less than the scar, but has more of a bouncy recoil. And all of the World War II bolt action rifles do a 50% damage hit. And while the semi autos take 4 hits directly to the chest. And once you've chosen the rifle that you want to use, you're going to have to select what type of attachment would you like to put onto it. So when it comes to putting attachments on bolt actions, you can either use a suppressor, red dot, green dot, and side dot. Or also you can continue to use the 8x scope as well. But when it comes to modern semi-autos, you can put any attachment you want onto it. But for the World War II bolt actions, you can only take off the scope or you can put on a bayonet at the end. And when it comes to the World War II semi-autos, you can not put any attachment onto it. And attachments will go a long way with helping you improve your sniping skills. And once you got your setup ready, let's get started. Now before you go on to any online match and get to it, I recommend that you continue to stay in the shooting range and practice with the modes that are given to you. You can either shoot up close range, mid range, or far range with the guns that you selected. And your percentage score might not be the highest, but just keep practicing and work with it until you see a, a little increase in percent score. And if you feel like your aim is unsteady, I recommend that you go into the settings, go to player, and turn on virtual stock. This will help improve your stability, and you can always turn it off if you feel like it does not work for you. And now let's talk about hand placement on your gun. It will vary depending if you are left eyed or right eyed dominant. The first way people hold their gun is when they have their right hand on the trigger, and then their left hand on the hand guard. The second one is that, that they have their left hand on the trigger, and their right hand on the hand guard. And the way you hold your gun also plays part in doing the full auto sniper. And once you feel more comfortable with your sniping, I prefer that you can go into offline mode, practice with the bots, hitting them at their bodies or heads, or you can practice doing that on all the maps on offline mode. Just try and practice working with the bots and feel like that you can do it in online matches. And now for the moment that you've all been waiting for, the full auto sniper stuff. Now let me get started to you on how it works. It's a way that you can kill a person by shooting them in two hits extremely fast. And this is not the visual glitch, that is an entirely different way of doing it, but that is way faster and it does not do any damage. This one is where it does actual damage to the opponent. And here is how you can do exactly on how I do it. Remember the way you hold it, you're going to have to hold it with your right hand and left hand for this to work properly. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to empty the chamber. So you shoot it, take your right hand off, pull it up and reload it. Then place your hand back on the trigger and fire it. Take it off, reload it again, then fire. Let me do it faster. Take it off, reload it, fire. Faster. And then you just get to the point where you can do it extremely fast. And let me show on how fast you can get it to go. And here's how this method could be really OP to use during online matches. So let's just say you're about to go through a door and you see someone else go through it. You shoot him, reload it fast again, and then shoot him again. It'll, it'll get him to immediately die without you having to crouch down and immediately reload it and have to get worried and get killed. And here's also what happens when you get more consistent with fast reloading.
And this also makes reloading the Barret much faster. And one more thing, this fast reloading method also works on World War II bolt actions. And once you take all the methods that I told you, try it out in online mode, or still try it out in offline mode or even in the shooting range, see if you got gotten any better by trying out those methods. If not, go back to the shooting range and practice. There's no point in practicing your aim and getting better. And if the full auto sniper stuff worked for you, tell me about it in the comments down below. And if you need any extra help, post it in the comments and I'll try to reach out to you to help you get better at it. And if you still think the sniper stuff is not your gig, that's alright. At least you actually gave it a try and see if you're good at it. I hope this tutorial helped all you guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.